I'm the founder director of Heritage of Faith and Hope Children's Home. Uh, we have been there for 20 years. And the reason why we started the home is um, I used to work for an insurance company and my husband was a commission agent with the same company. On uh, 15th of July, uh, 1996, the company was closed down by the government and we found ourselves without a job. We had a mortgage, we had a cooperative loan, we had, uh, our, we had five children then, and um, the first one was in standard eight. So we thought it is the end of the world. We demonstrated for two months, and uh, in my journey of demonstration, I prayed to God and I told him to give me something to do with my heart, and I promised God that uh, bless me, I will touch a life. So God gave me an idea. I started hawking meat from uh, Kiamaiko, carrying meat with a chondo, and supplying to house to house. That is literally hawking meat. Uh, we started the business with 4,000. And uh, after one year, we had made a working capital of about 300,000. Two and a half years, we went to Dobi and we bought a pickup. And uh, we did meat business from uh, beef, pork, mutton, um, lamb, and chicken. And uh, we thank God that uh, we were making uh, a great fortune. Um, after buying a pickup, we thought that uh, we can extend a hand to those needy people. And uh, the most uh, people who are near us were the church where we were pastoring, we started mentoring women into business because we knew you empower a woman, you are empowering the community. And uh, after that, we started mentoring young people into meat business because when I was doing that business, my greatest challenge was that um, I was not skilled. I never knew that meat has got names. And so I thought, let because I have known the names of meat, I have known what I, how I can handle meat, I can uh, extend it to the young people. So I trained a number of people into meat business. And then from there I thought, as much as it is given to me, I can extend it to the children who are living in the streets of Nairobi. Uh, I used to work in Harambe Avenue, and so Harambe Avenue was my Jerusalem. I started feeding children from Aga Khan Walk, the car park around uh, near opposite Ucho Uchumi. And uh, I fed them for a period, and then I thought, I'm just giving them a meal. Why, sh why don't we give them a future? And uh, we talked over it with my husband, who is a leveret. And we agreed that we are going to start a home and uh, give these children a shoulder to lean upon. And uh, future, we give them parental care and education. And um, that year of August 2002, we started Heritage of Faith and, and Hope Children Home with 38 children. Uh, we rented somewhere and we started the home. And after rehabilitating January 2003, that is when the government gave the free education. We took the children to Morongo Primary School. We had other children who had done their KCP and uh, they were in the street. I, we thought that it is good we take them to high school. We got a uh, high school in Gedungori and we took them there. We had others who wanted to do vocational training and uh, we took them for various courses in uh, the river. And um, after that, I settled and we felt that uh, we have done what we desired to do. I thank God that uh, June 2003, their Christian entrepreneurs, Sako, they heard how we started the business and how we started the home. And I was invited to, to attend a conference in America so that I can give my story. So when I went to America, I was given 10 to 15 minutes to speak, and I gave my story, and uh, we thank God that uh, God connected us with a family which was selling meat in America. And uh, our journey started there because uh, they decided to support us with $2,000 every month, which was a big, big breakthrough to us. Um, they supported us. 
two or five they visited and they found that uh, we have over 70 children and they are sleeping two and three in one bed and um, they decided to rent a bigger house for us which they did I thank God that the same year 205, the government came in, they gave us this piece of land, it's a five acre land, we thank God. And uh, the same year we started our own primary school, we have a good primary school from uh, PP to grade eight. And uh, I thank God that uh, we are transiting very well in the CBC because this home we have, uh, we have many income generating projects. We have, uh, we have cows, we have chicken, we have uh, ducks, we have a piece of land where we do farming. So I thank God that uh, we are transiting very well to the CBC because we, can, we are able to train our children on the hands-on work in, uh, in the home. 207 is a company that came and gave us 750,000 and we started the dormitory which is behind me the dormitory where the children are sleeping and uh, we fenced and we started uh, we started a journey of constructing a hostel uh, 209 2009 that is when we were celebrating our seventh anniversary we raised one million and the one million through the help of a number of companies just to mention but a few Kenya Airport Authority we raised um, the one million and we did the foundation of uh, this building and the money got finished the friends we have from uh, the u.s the ones i met decided to do a fundraiser for us and uh, they supported us with 10 million now the 10 million we did the uh, the building ground for the first floor and the money got finished and uh after the money got finished, we decided that uh, we continue to outreach people and uh, we were given about 2.7 by another family, 1.8, and people continued coming because this is a journey of faith. And um, as you are aware that uh, this is a Christian founded home, we believe that faith is a substance of the things hoped for. Thing, which are not seen, but they, they, they will become a reality. So we outreached and we found so many people willing to support. Uh, we did a borehole and uh, Davis and Shatrif came in and they gave us a pump. And uh, many other companies continued to come in one way or another. And uh, we thank God that uh, we have a mileage. We are now 20 years. And uh, God has enabled us to touch many, many lives in this place. And uh, 2010, we had uh, done the ground floor and the first floor, and we decided that we 